Yo, K okay, Face Guy here. Hey, so we are back at Barney Miller's for round two. About two, two and a half years ago, I came down to Lexington, Kentucky to visit Barney Miller's home cinema kind of factory, kind of a tour of their showroom here. They have a lot of cool goodies. If you didn't see that video two or two and a half years ago, don't worry about it. We're going to do another tour today. I actually have my friend John Paul, who you've actually seen on the channel many of times. He was 16 when I met him. He's been in the home theater game. He now works here at Barney Miller. So he's going to help us get a tour of this wonderful facility. And there's some really cool speakers in here that I'll show you in the video. And we'll do a few of them in dedicated reviews. So let's get started. So inside this room has changed a lot since I was in here last. Not the room itself and the acoustic treatment and the chairs, all that's still the same, but every speaker that's in this room right now is completely different than what I saw the last time. We got Fortes in here, get Founder Series from Paradigm, a lot of Bowers Wilkins in here. What's new for Barney Miller is now they are a Focal dealer. You can now pick up Focal speakers here in Lexington, Kentucky, which is cool because I'm ashamed to say this, but I've never heard a Focal speaker in my life other than I had some Focal speakers in my car. They make car audio, believe it or not. So I am ecstatic to hear some speakers, which we'll do in a separate review of some of these speakers here. But let me grab the camera and show you guys the showroom here. So this setup here, we have the Focal Canta N2s here. And then next to them are the Premier Series from Paradigm, kind of their entry level, maybe just a step up from entry level there. But these are some bad boys here. We will do a dedicated review of these. I heard a little snippet and I'm in love. They're in the black finish with kind of this slate gray kind of front end. Of course, that curvature that they're known for is here in that front port. Really solid sounding system accompanied by this Macintosh MA352 integrated amplifier. Now, this thing sounds amazing. I didn't get to hear this when I was here last time. Again, played a little demo and the setup is extremely nice. So we'll do a dedicated review of the Cantas there. This is awesome as well. These are Bowringer Wilkins set up here with a slew of Macintosh um, gear on this rack here. And then there's a JL, I think it's a Phantom. I can't remember the model of this, but we're gonna do a review of those Bowringer Wilkins as well because I haven't heard these either other than that one minute snippet that I got. We're moving around the room here. You see a lot of Anthem products here, Anthem and Paradigm because they're one and the same. So this is an Anthem integrated amplifier here with some Paradigm bookshelves next to it. They got some Bowringer Wilkins bookshelf speakers. Marantz integrated amplifier there. And here's the wall that I really want to hear soon too. So these are, I think the 120s, these are the Paradigm Founder 120s. So this is the one that has the amplifier on the back side of it for some extra power. So those are going to sound good. But here's what I really want to hear are the Fortes from Clips. We're going to do a dedicated review on those speakers too. Up top powering everything, this is the SDR, this is a pre-amplifier, then there is an SDR power amplifier underneath it. That is all Anthem gear right there. And then a Furman power conditioner at the bottom. So this room is really nice for kind of enclosed listening. This room is completely sealed off with two doors. You have acoustic treatment all the way around. And of course, over top there, it's also acoustic treatment at the top. There's some speakers built into the ceiling, but this is for that true close your eyes and listen type of feel. So we're gonna do some reviews in this room here after this video. So moving out of this room here is a really cool room to kind of show off the technology side of things. Control fours, power conditioners, there's some crown amplifiers up here. This is more like your regular home theater room where you don't have a big space. Maybe you're using your living room as a home theater or you're like me and you have a smaller room. This shows you that you can do a small home theater, get some modest gear and have a really good performance. So this first off is a massive TV. I think this is closer to hundred inches. It's pretty darn legit. Down below is a Paradigm sub. If I can get my camera to focus for you guys. Then we have some circuitry here. This is a Sony receiver with a Sony, probably X800 as their Blu-ray player there. And then the Panamax conditioner and a Creston up top. So it's controlling everything here. And kind of the same thing is going on on the other side. So this crown amplifier is powering that sub here, I believe. So just like in my setup, I have a crown amplifier kind of doing all the work for my subs too. So you guys can see that in action. And of course, built-ins here. So you have a nice wall cabinet. It's a really pretty setup and a really nice color. 
they're showing off their acoustic panels too. So along the wall, if you didn't catch it, these acoustic panels, slightly darker than the wall, but they match. So if you want acoustic treatment, but the wife is yelling at you that it looks too ugly, you can blend it in. So they make different colors, red, white, whatever your walls are, they probably have it. And of course, here's an example of some seating. I'm gonna grab John Paul for a second. He's gonna show me this room for you guys because inside here is a really cool feature. So this room is to mimic your living room. Of course, you're probably not gonna put <laughs> you know, leather seats, leather home theater seats in your living room, or you may, this is why it's here, but this is like a sofa setup, so you can share that seat with a significant other or just friends, whatever you have going on. But this is to mimic, you know, the average living room, not a big space, but you want something, you know, nice sounding. So what you can't see in here, what you probably haven't spotted, one is the Control 4. I was talking to you guys about that in the beginning of the video. This is the Control 4. This is actually a motion censored room. So it's already on when I came in, but when you come into this room, everything kicks on. Lights, TV turns on, maybe the fireplace too. That's what a Control 4 does. It can see you and you can set it to do different commands just based off your presence. So if I move up, another thing you guys probably didn't spot are our built-in subwoofers in the wall. These look to be probably eight inches or so. The grill is painted to match the wall. So it's discreet. You have no idea what's going on. It's simple. And then there's speakers, of course, in the ceiling as well. So you can have a hideaway home theater. Now check this out. This thing is moving right now. This is a frame type TV here and it's on a hydraulic TV mount. And the purpose of this is to bring it down to eye level. So you guys saw how high it was, but see how low you're sitting here. This allows you to bring it down to a more comfortable viewing angle so that you're not breaking your neck to look up if you have your TV above a fireplace. I actually built a fireplace in my home, in my living room, and now my TV is probably as high as it was. This is something that would work out really nice. So I can bring it back down to eye level. You can even stop it in its tracks. If you don't want it that low, just a little bit lower, you can move it and stop it wherever you want it to. So that's what it looks like behind it. There's hydraulics literally there and it attaches to your TV the traditional way. So this frame here, this is not a frame TV, but Barney Miller offers options to frame your TV in whatever option color you want. So you can hide this away. So John Paul, if you can put this back on the wall, watch, this is the coolest thing ever. So this is really thick. It makes, this, makes the TV look like a picture frame. You can choose whatever color frame you want, but once this frame gets to the back of the wall, Look how flush it is. It literally meets the wall to the point where you don't even see behind it anymore. You saw no wires, no HDMI cords and cables, nothing. Look how flush that gets to the wall so that it hides away. It has a slight tilt down so you can still see it and use it when you're watching it this high. But that's incredible how much of a picture frame this truly looks. So this is a room catered to you know, your average guys in your average living room. Let's move into another room. John Paul here is gonna show me these lights here. So we have recess lights or can lights, whatever you wanna call them in the ceiling here. And this is another example of what you can get from them. So these are controlled, they're back cans and front cans. So they're separate lights for you know, separate sections of the room. John Paul, go ahead and start pressing them for me. You can dim these things, of course. You can stop them at certain levels. You can keep them slightly on, kind of like an actual movie theater. You can even turn on the front ends too. There's another button for the front. So you can turn on the front section too and just illuminate that. So that's something else that you guys can get from them is controlled lighting. Again, control four will do it for you, but if you don't want to go that far, you can actually get this done too. So leave it like that, John Paul, looks good. So another example of an average living room, maybe you don't want to go quite this route with the frame TV. Maybe you want a more, even more traditional setup. There are speakers in the ceiling for Atmos if you want to go that route, but another room where things blend in. So this is another small eight inch Bowers and Wilkins sub in the corner. And then again, in the wall are more Bower, Bowers and Wilkins LCR. So each speaker is the same speaker, center, left and, and right. So that's really cool, but it didn't stop there. Down below in this cabinet here, I'll try to brighten up the brightness. Go ahead and turn all the lights on for me, John Paul, see if it helps us. So in this cabinet here, this hides away all of your equipment. I think down below in the right was the Sony AZ-5000, so a pretty beefy receiver from Sony. 
And then on the left side there, there's all of your equipment there, the JL Audio, I think it's a, a power conditioner. I can't actually, I can't read it from here. Actually, no, it's, it's amplifier there. And then you can actually hide away your center channel in the stand. This is actually a speaker grill. You can see my foot right here. This is a speaker grill right there. So you can hide away your center inside the center console, inside the entertainment stand. So if you want an even more minimalistic look, this is how you get it done. So now it's time for the fun. I'm gonna take John Paul with me. We're gonna go into the big theater room. All right guys, so this room right here is for those who have dedicated spaces. If you have a basement home theater, a big space. So this is gonna show off kind of your full potential. So we have two rows of seating in here, six seats. And these are really nice, not only because of the seats that they are, but they're showing off their risers too. I'll get some footage of that. The back row is on some risers and you can hardly tell because they're about the width of the seat themselves. So they don't stick out. You can't really tell that they're there, but they are a good six to eight inches off the ground so that you can see above this, the first row. So this is a huge screen. I'm guessing 120, it feels 120, maybe even bigger than that. And this is a full Bowers and Wilkins system. When I came last time, there was still a Bowers and Wilkins system, but these are the new S3s. I think they're 707 S3s. And then the matching center is in here. And then tell me again, John Paul, what the subs were. The E-subs e -subs is what these JL subs are. They're the 12, the 12 inches. So there's two of them down here. I'll show you guys that. And they're sealed too. They were here last time I was here, I think. And they sounded really good. I'm a sealed sub fan. If you don't know, I, I only have sealed subs in my home theater. So they do have some Atmos speakers, only two. So this looks to be a 5.2.2 setup. And then this Sony, what is this thing? It's like a 5,000. I can't remember what it was. XW6000. XW6000 is what it is. So. Is that their best, is there their entry level? I can't remember which one. Yeah, that's the middle man, the, the 7,000 is the best, and they just came out. So 7,000 is the top tier, the 6,000 is kind of in the middle. It's actually a really good picture. This is actually a white screen that I have behind me, and then a Macintosh set up again in this room. I'm actually gonna give you guys a demo of this room really quick to listen to the Bowers and Wilkins setup real quick. So let me grab the microphone. I'll put you guys in the sweet spot. We'll take a little demo. So what's cool about this room here is that this remote here is from Questron and it controls everything in here. Your Kaleidoscape, which is what we're gonna watch a demo on with, the Macintosh amps and the lighting. So we're gonna watch Mad Max Fury Road and we're gonna do the, let me go down to scenes and we're gonna watch Max versus Furiosa, the, a quick scene, a quick demo for you. As soon as I press okay on this remote, it automatically takes the lights and it dims them down for you. So there you go. Now you can't see anything because the lights are dim. So let me lower down the brightness and give you guys a little demo. Yeah, probably. stairs to the left and on this sign here it tells you what to expect when you get up there so we're gonna walk these steps I'm gonna have John Paul follow with me because he's gonna be the one to be able to control everything so I've been up here before and this is a really cool space because if you take a right you have a wall of equipment here so Anthem products, Kaleidoscape, Sony you have everything right here and then to the right it's kind of like their conference room and then John Paul told me this is like a fiberglass projector screen where they do a lot of their conferencing and you can control it all here in this desk. So chargers, power outlets, that controls it again with Questron. Of course, they have a table for their doing refreshment, but the screen is really cool. It's a, it's a steward screen, it looks like. And then Focal is flanking it. So Focal 
in the wall. So there's a lot of in-wall options here and you can paint match them. So really cool space, kind of showing off the conference room kind of things. Maybe you have a business or maybe you use a space for business at times. They even catered to that. And of course, the lighting is all controlled if you want it to be. So we're gonna step into this room now. I got a secret to tell you guys. I think I'm in the market for new speakers. And I'm not gonna tell you which ones that I think that I want the most, but I will tell you that what's in here is a consideration. It's not my first choice by any means, but John Paul told me he had them and I had to at least come and listen to them. These are the 100s from the Founder Series of Paradigm. 100 F to be exact there. And I've heard of them many times before. They've been around for a little bit. I've seen some reviews on them, but I haven't ever heard them. I've always wanted Paradigm speakers. As a young boy, when I got to home theater, I started loving home theater because I saw a huge Paradigm Center channel. And I got into home theater because I thought it was the coolest thing that this Center channel was this big. It's as big as their towers. So now I've always, for the last 15 years, have wanted Paradigm speakers and it may or may not happen. So these are the 100 Fs and it's their tower. It's not their best and not their worst. This center channel is massive. It's about the same size. And then there's the right side speaker there. And then in the back, it looks like it's their, this is their bottom tier. This is their 80. So this is the bottom um, of the totem pole here. So a little bit smaller. Um, so this is what I wouldn't go for. It wouldn't do me any justice going away from my kefs. And maybe these won't be good enough to beat my kefs. That's what we're gonna hear in the next video. So there's one more secret in here, he tells me. Inside the wall, in this column, not even the wall, in the columns, there are speakers. Do you know what's in here by chance? Or was it more towers? Like matching paradigms, not towers. Oh, gotcha, like in walls or something? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So Paradigm has in wall speakers. I didn't know that. Oh, he's taking off the panel too? Oh gosh. <laughs> so access to the back panel here. That makes sense. You got to get back there so you can just kind of step through. This is where everything is. At. I got to I got to do this cuz this my home theater equipment's in a closet too. That would be really cool to cut a little cut out and get back there. That's legit. So behind the panels are paradigm in walls and then to get to all the equipment, you just hop in the wall, yeah. which is pretty legit. So yeah, and then of course these are acoustic panels. You've seen many acoustic panels throughout the tour. So there's a tons of ways to treat your room and make it look good so down at the bottom there are i don't are there subs in the wall right now or just the cutouts for it there are subs there are subs in the wall right now Paradigm subwoofers, 10 inch. oh cool so there are subs in here i'm actually going to turn them off for what i'm going to do so guys this is the barney miller showroom i've been here before like i said this has been two or so years since i've been in here and a lot has changed i will leave a link down below to their address their location their phone number these guys are great i walked in they said hello like i've been here millions of times it's only my second time they still treated me like family of course john paul's been on the channel many times so he always treats me like family so it's awesome that he's here i've watched that man grow for the last two or three years so that's really awesome to see so i'm gonna make some dedicated videos of some of the speakers we saw here so if you guys saw any really cool speakers on this tour i will be doing some demos of them so check back because we're gonna have some fun shout out to john paul for walking me through the showroom we're gonna get some more fun vid videos going so you guys thank you so much for watching hit the link below check out barney miller's catalog get in touch with them they can help you out they got some really cool stuff going on and we will see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. Good